this week, we're keeping an eye on Fatou Bensouda, also known as the woman who hunts tyrants. Bensouda came from humble beginnings when she was born in the Gambia to a family of more than 12 siblings. She would go on to attend law school in Nigeria, become an advisor to a tribunal investigating war crimes in Rwanda, and later rise to become the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court in the Netherlands. In this role, she is responsible for bringing charges against some of the worst dictators and war criminals in the world. Serving in her role since 2012, she is the first woman to be chief prosecutor of the ICC. In her job, she has investigated crimes against humanity in Myanmar, the Ivory Coast, and the Central African Republic. When asked what drives her, she said, the issue of justice and accountability seems to be in my DNA. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand, but she's also known for targeting mostly Africans, and the, the book shows that. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of controversy yeah. over her role, you That's know, right. her being the chief prosecutor, there's a lot of controversy. Controversy over the institution, the ICC itself, but she's been, I mean, the backlash has been double standards, you know, men and have held that position for a while. Absolutely. Okay, well, a less <laughs> controversial woman. The sky is the limit for this woman to watch. Meet Susan Mashibe, the first woman in Tanzania to become an FAA-certified commercial pilot and an aircraft maintenance engineer. Mashibe is the founder and executive director of VIA Aviation, an international fixed-based aircraft service operation. This is the first company of its kind in Tanzania. She is literally encouraging young women to fly high by soaring in this male-dominated industry. Very impressive. I have She's to pretty say. cool, I have to say. Yeah. yeah. Well, these are just a handful of women we have our eyes on, and I'm sure you have a few suggestions as well. Introduce them to us and uh, use the hashtag VOAR Voices so we can find your comments, and who knows, uh, they could be featured on our upcoming episode. Thanks all for watching today. To catch up on previous episodes of Our Voices, log on to VOA's website where you can also find the latest international developments.